Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Mr. Matman, and welcome back to what will probably be the final episode of a story about my uncle. Now last Into time... the caves again. Oops. And now, it was just me. Alone, in these cold, barren halls of ice. But Fred had been here. And now, I could feel it. I was getting close. Excuse me, Something sir. Something wasn't right. The grapple device's energy beam was somehow reflected off of the ice and I couldn't get a grip. I had to look for areas where the ice was not so thick. This was going to be a challenge. Okay, before he interrupted me, I was about to say that last time we had to say goodbye to Maddie, she decided to stray, stay with the strays in their village, and we continued on ahead to these ice caves to look for Fred. Also, this flare's still going, so someone must have been here recently. And as my character was saying, you can't actually grapple onto the ice. And this is the first time in the game they've actually run into the problem of not being able to, gra able to grapple onto something. And also, how are all these boxes floating? Oh, I forgot I have rocket boots. I keep forgetting. So there's some sort of hidden text there. So I guess we'll just go ahead and get started across the boxes. This is a really, really cool level though, it's well designed. Also, how far up does that go? There's gotta be a top on it somewhere, we're inside of a mountain after all. Nope, 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 nope. Saved by the boots. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, it works, it works. We made it, we're not dead yet. Whee! Okay. Almost to the other side. Almost there. Wow, those rocket boots give me a lot more height than I thought they did. And with the boots, they just kind of launch you whichever way you're looking when you push the button. Now, what are these crystals? When I drained the crystal, I suddenly felt the earth oh gosh. starting to move. Oh gosh, I gotta feet, go. And my I gotta mind go. wandered back to how the strays might have used the crystals as a source of oh, power oh, to I gotta keep go. their cities afloat. Oh, where am I going? I decided oh, I'm, okay, it was nope, best I'm to hurry back the I'm way dead. I came before this whole room came apart. Oh gosh, this is this is not okay. Oh, this is very not okay. Oh, okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Recharge, recharge, and go. I get to that one. Recharge, and go. Recharge, and go. Okay, I gotta stay high, I don't wanna get too low. Otherwise, I think I'll fall to my death. Oh, oh no, oh no, come back, come back, come back, I need you. Back. Oh, we're almost there. Okay, so the last one. Just land on top of this. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I can do it. Yeah! Wow, that is... That, that was intense. I wonder if they just keep falling infinitely. As long as you don't fall too far, you could always make it across. <sighs> My heart's racing. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> oh, okay. Whew. There's a checkpoint. We're good. Oh, that scared me. I didn't want to have to do that again. Oh, are you kidding me? I give up. I quit. Okay, there we go. 
So wait, this is just where I came from. Where do I go to next? Ooh, something's falling over there. Also, what was the crystal I drained? What did that do for me? Because none of the boxes started falling until after I drained that crystal. Was it just some sort of power source keeping them all suspended there? The crystals also reflected the grapple beam, but as they did, they seemed to recharge the grappling device. Okay, so now if I hit those glowing crystals with my grapple, it will refill the little meter on the back of my hand, and that's not how you're supposed to do it. It's like right now I only have one left, I hit the crystal, and it refills them all. Oh, come on, there we go. Oh, over there, okay, we're good. I know what I'm doing, don't worry. And there we go. What is this? Tally marks. Nine this way? I I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Ooh, there's another message on a rock. Oh, it's doing something. Can I Those inspect it? Floating there we stones. go. What were they? I'm not sure. If only Maddie had come with me, maybe she could have translated the scripture on them. But Dad, didn't you learn some of their letters? Well, I had realized that each one of their letters represented one of ours. Maybe I could remember the writings that Maddie read to me in the chasms. Now, on my previous playthrough, I did actually go back and create a little cipher that had all the letters they're talking about, and I read what those rocks said. I, I can't remember, but I don't think it was anything too important, and I'm not going to bother doing that again on this playthrough, because it did take a lot of time, and I just don't have time for it. Sorry, guys. But if you want to decipher it, you're more than welcome to go through to my previous videos. Pause it when you see one of the um, codes and know what it says and see if you can figure it out. Also, I don't think I was supposed to land here, but I ran out of grapples because you, you still need a grapple left to be able to recharge. So if I use all three of them, then I'm in trouble. Oh, come on. Oh, no, no. Nope, nope, no, that didn't work. Okay, let's do this again, but this time the right way. So now I need to recharge it now, and then go. Okay, there we go. That's better. Perfect. Super smooth. Sorry, I'm focusing so hard I'm forgetting to talk. <laughs> this, this is where the game starts getting kind of intense and takes a lot of concentration. At least it does for me, because I'm not super talented at concentrating and talking at the same time. And where am I going? Save me, rocket boots. Oh, now I'm out of grapples. I'm in trouble. Should have hit that crystal first. And this part of the game also requires a bit of speed. It's not just jumping from platform to platform. You have to be aiming around, refilling with the crystals, and grappling onto the next platforms before you fall out of range. Oh, sent me all the way back here? I guess it's not too far. It's not too bad.
So I use my second grapple and I need to recharge on the crystals before I go again. How are you? Oh, rocket boots. That's right, I have rocket boots. This part's kind of tricky. Bada bing, bada boom. Get to this easy part again. Didn't even need to grapple there, but better safe than sorry. Okay, this part. So I go one, two, rocket boot, recharge, and keep going. There we go. There we go. It's more a matter of sequence than anything. Just knowing what to do when and where. I guess I'm just keep keep on going up. Keep on keeping on. This is a very, very large mountain though. Look at it. Even in a darker foreboding place like this, it is a very, very pretty game. Oh, rockets maybe? I don't know if I actually needed that, but okay. Yeah, I probably needed my rocket right there. Oh, somehow I got my rocket back. Got it back again. Okay, I'll take it. I won't complain about that. We don't even look. They say look before you leap, but here I say no, just leap. Okay, there's a rock around there. Yep, there we go. We're good. We're good. I feel like there's a lot of extra crystals that they've placed around here that you don't really need. Because it takes a charge to refill using the crystal, but if you have a charge left, do you really need and it's only like one charge left to get to your destination, do you really need to use the crystal to refill? If that made any sense at all? Probably not. Maybe some of you guys get what I'm saying. Am I even going the right way or do I just go in a big circle? I don't think I've been here yet. Is that where I came from over there? Or is that where I'm going? I'm, I'm I'm super turned around. I have no idea where I am anymore. Oh, okay. Hold on. I, oh, up there. Okay, still going up. Still just working our way onwards and upwards. Checkpoint! Yay! This game is pretty generous about its checkpoints, though. You never have to go too far without one. Did I miss a crystal somewhere? Because I don't have a charge left for that. That's a problem. <laughs> That's a big problem. Oh, okay, so there's crystals on top of those giant pillars of ice. Would those, would those be stalagmites? Or are they made of ice? I don't know if that makes a difference, but... Oh. I forgot where I was going. I guess I'm going down here. Bye! Oh, I did it again. I did it again. My bad. Up. There we go. Keep going up. Okay, yeah. I totally missed that last time. That would have been helpful. There we go, that's better. Can I make that? Can I make that? Can I make that? Oh, cheat and use the rocket boots. Yeah, I made it. I might need my rocket boots later, though.
No, it looks like we might be okay. Awesome. Wait. Am I turning around and working my way back? I guess we should just follow the blue checkpoint arrows. That would make the most sense. Oh, that was weird. I saw the rock coming. I ducked my head in real life. Wow. Okay. Good thing you guys can't see that. You'd all be laughing at me for being the fool that I am. Like, I'm so into the game that, like... I landed hard and felt the impact vibrate through my body. The suit had protected me, but it was in bad shape. The rocket boots were worst off. The crash had ruined the functionality completely. Oh no! I knew that if I stayed here to fix them, I would probably freeze to death. I had no other choice than to press on. I don't have my rocket boots anymore. I gotta say though, very well done. If a game can get me to the point that I'm so involved in it, that I'm ducking my head for an object that's just in the game, that's... Like that, that type of immersion is what I look for in a good game. And that's part of why I like this game so much, because you have so much control. And it's just so visually stunning that you yourself feel immersed in it. I just tried saving myself with the rocket boots, but I guess I don't have those anymore. Oh, what? What? Oh, okay, I went off too early. Don't worry, I'm good at this game. I know what I'm doing. Not really. And then up to this one? Yep. This does go very far up. How tall is this mountain? Unless there's more of those crystals. I don't think we need them. It still makes me wonder what those crystals are. And we still haven't answered the question, where are we? Also, that little outcropping looks like some sort of scary jaw. Like the teeth. But where are we? What kind of world are we in? Are we still on Earth? Or do we get sent to another world? That Where, where would we be that crystals and power sources and floating rocks and everything like this would even exist? Am I going from here? No, oh, over there. Okay. Oh wait, was I already over here? No, I don't think so. This is new. And that was not the right way to go. Now, so that's interesting. If I fall too far, even if I land on a platform I previously on, as long as I just fall too far, it'll actually reset me at the checkpoint. Which is kind of nice, because it'd be obnoxious to have to completely restart because there'll be times in games like Mirror's Edge where you get to a checkpoint super high up and then you fall a long ways and don't die and then you just have to start all the way from the bottom again and that got kind of annoying it didn't happen too much so I can't really complain am I still going up? maybe yep Oh, oh, that wasn't the right way to go. Okay, I see it back there. It's hiding from me. And this part right here is just a lot more like a classic platformer. Just go from pillar to pillar. Keep going higher and higher. It's not so much involving any crazy grapple mechanics. And I just fell. Oh, all the way back here? Dang it. Sorry guys, making you watch all this all over again. Speed run. Gotta go fast. Fast as we can. Oh, unless I mess it up. Don't go too fast. Um, this is the Heidi one. Ah, 
Oh, dang it, I did it again. I'm going too fast to keep messing things up. Uh, slow down, take it easy, take my time. Haste makes waste, as my father always said. Okay, give me a checkpoint. I want a checkpoint. Yeah! Okay, this... This is... Kinda sketchy. Just a little bit. Okay, it got wider. I feel safe. Well, safer. I guess you couldn't really say safe. How did someone else get all the way up here to place these flares everywhere? How could Fred leave stuff behind oh, everywhere? Exactly How much was he question. carrying? As I remember it, Fred wasn't that good at keeping track of all his things. Like you. Hey, it's not like you're any better. Sorry. Anyway, Fred counted on losing a few things on each of his journeys. He always brought more stuff than he needed. For a paddling trip we had, he brought so many life jackets we could barely fit ourselves in the canoes. Isn't it hard to lose track of a life jacket if you're wearing it? Uh, <laughs> good point. Guess he didn't really think of that. So Fred brought all this extra stuff, but does that mean that Fred... This doesn't answer, like, how Fred made it through all these caves, or does he have a suit just like mine? And if he does, why would he be going through all these caves that even all the village people are afraid of and refuse to go to? There's still a lot of unanswered questions here. Oop, I hear a secret. Secret! Ooh, I have a new unlockable. I'm going to check that out real fast. Um, where is it? Options, unlockables, goat mode. What is goat mode? Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Nope, nope, nope. We're turning that off. No goat mode. Bad goat mode. I think, I, I think I'll have to take a rain check on that one. I found another one of Fred's campsite, noticeably newer than the others. The fire was still smoldering, and I could faintly pick up the smell of the aftershave he always used. I was closing in on him. I could feel it. He had left some tools behind that I could use to repair my boots. Yay, my boots are fixed. Also, that should do it. Good as new. This episode may be a little bit longer. I can't remember how long this final chapter is, but I, I'm just going to go ahead and finish it up in this episode no matter how long it takes. Yeah, I have my boots back. Ah, it feels good. Soaring through the air so gracefully, like an eagle, piloting a balloon. Supposed to be over here? I see a checkpoint over here. Let's go get that real quick. I don't think I needed that crystal. Oh, well, it came in handy. We're okay. No harm. Buried no harm done. Ice. You could still see signs of what this place had once been. Something not unlike the caves where the village lay. The Ice Age must have come suddenly, washing over it like a freezing There's tsunami. something under the ice? Now it lay desolated, haunting anyone who dared visit with falling stalactites, sharp icicles, and its bottomless depths. Oh gosh, those are going to fall on me? That's not cool. Oh, 
Oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Um, over here, I guess. That is a long way down. Where to now? Up. Um. Okay, down there. I see it. Sorry, it took me a second. Now, something that's difficult about games like this where you just get upgraded to the point that you can almost fly, finding out where to go next can be quite the challenge because there's just such great distances to travel. Also, that looks like some sort of glider wing. Was Fred gliding through here? I want to hang glider. That'd be awesome. I mean, not that my rock boots aren't cool and all, but a hang glider would be amazing. Oh, that didn't work. Well, let's try this again. Maven, I think I have to use my rocket boots to reach that. Yeah. I didn't even need that third crystal. I'm too good. The game doesn't know what to do with me. Oh, oh, come on, save me rockets. More of the stalactites. Are these ones not going to fall on me? Huh. Apparently not. Oh, that one is. Okay, I can use this to recharge real quick. I guess I just keep on going this way. I probably should have saved my rocket boots, but oh well. Is it? It is what it is. Oh, there's too many options. I don't know where to go. Oh, oh, nope. I need to hit a crystal. Oh, I could almost reach it. Oh, did it put me all the way all the way back at the beginning of the cave? Dang it. Oh, that's annoying. This part might be troublesome. I feel like this should have had a checkpoint right here, but and it's too easy, I guess. I don't know. Nope, I need a rock. Oh, I'm going too fast. Oh, this is stressful. This is incredibly stressful. Oh, did I make it? Did I make it? Did I make it? Fred had come this way alone, too. I took some comfort oh. in knowing that whatever problems I face now, Fred would have faced them too, and beaten them. If he could do it, I could do it too. Anything you can do, I can do better. So there's just like multiple routes. You could just like take the stones if you wanted to go faster. Okay, that was a little derpy. Man, after that last bit, this part almost seems too easy. There's too many rocks to choose from. Oh, oh come on. There we go. Checkpoint. Am I almost there? This look I get the feeling that this is approaching the end. 
another. Did I get a checkpoint? Or no, was that just the sound of recharging? I guess I'm going down here. Nope, never mind. I thought I could go on the bottom of that ledge. Maybe I do, I just was aiming for the wrong spot, I guess? Gotta get that momentum. Keep that momentum up. Oh gosh. Oh, I thought I was gonna die. It's all about the momentum. Hey, I made it! Please don't mess up here. I don't think I can handle doing that again. Oh, that was a little too close. Too close for comfort. There's a lot of crystals in this cave. It was dark all around me, but there was a light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, cinematic mode. I can't run or jump. <sighs> Fred! I'm assuming you're Fred. Fred! Hello? Nephew. Uncle Fred. I finally found him. <sighs> My little boy. I like your beard. I'm glad to see you. And you're wearing the suit I made you. But how can you be here? I said that I found the suit in his workshop, and that I came looking for him. I'm sorry for being away for so long. But I've been busy down here, you see. The frog people. That was an experiment of mine. Do you remember the eggs I found before? I sent them here by accident, and I had to follow. By the time I got here, they were already growing. These caves were empty before, but my experiment has made them full of life. I've conducted research on them and documented everything about them. Ooh, and pretty. I built a new crystal-powered pad to be able to get back to my colleagues, show them how fantastic this all is. I interrupted Fred and told him about Maddie, how we came all the way to Star Haven together, and that I had promised to ask him if he would go see her there. Madeline. My little Maddie. I should have taken her to see Starhaven long ago. She was always so curious about the strays. Is that your grapple pin? Mine uh, looks cooler. I left her. I wanted to protect her. Or rather, protect myself from losing her. I have changed my mind. I'm not going home. What does research or praise matter when I can be here with these creatures? They need me. And it's just as well. I don't trust this pad for more than one ride anyway. You need that ride. I didn't want to go home. And I asked if I could stay with him and Maddie instead. I'm sorry, nephew. As much as I enjoy having you here, you must go home. Explore the world on your own. Have your own adventures. I reluctantly agreed to go home. I was going to miss my uncle. I will miss you too. But I'm sure you'll do phenomenal on your own. And don't worry about me or Maddie. You'll be fine. The pad is yours, boy. But I don't want to go. When you're ready. I like being Spider-Man. So, I guess Fred just wants to stay here and watch over the frog people that he accidentally created, but... I guess those frog people are a miracle and he feels a responsibility to be with them and help them. Well, Fred only known you for like a minute but it's been nice knowing you farewell something gonna happen oh something's happening he 
called me son. So that was a story about my uncle. Now, when I first played this game, the story was nothing like I thought it'd be. I had no idea there was going to be frog people or anything like that, but the way that it presents it to you is just very compelling, and there's something... there's a lot of charm to this game. Not only is it fun to swing around like Spider-Man, use your grapple hooks, and soar through the air, rocket boots and everything, not only is it absolutely gorgeous, but there's just charm to it, to the characters, that there's just this intrigue in the world, you want to know more, and you want to know what's next, and then Uncle Fred is always this enigma at the end of the game, yet your character's known him for his whole life, and you finally meet him, it's just to say goodbye, there's something very Kind of heartwarming. It's more like a, a bittersweet feeling that you finally found it, but it's only to say farewell. The end. Now, good night, sweetie. Wait, Dad. Does that mean Fred is still there? Who knows? That was the last time I saw him. Don't you miss him? I do sometimes, but I don't worry about him because I know that wherever he is, he's on his biggest adventure yet. And now this whole game begs the question, it's all from perspective from a father telling a bedtime story to his daughter, but is it all real, or is it just a bedtime story? And that's something for Dear you Fred, guys to decide. Today, I step into the lobby of your house for the last time. My daughter asked me to tell her about an adventure and I came to think of you. Your house looks just like my mother and I left it years ago. After you'd gone, I was sure she was going to throw out all your stuff, but she just cleaned up. Fred Gable. We made you a small memorial. So it makes me wonder if Fred passed away and when my for character's while, daughter asked her story, I just day, thought of him and made like up I this great to. adventure. Sometimes I could even faintly hear your voice calling from the observatory, asking me to get you this tool or that. I never told my mother about that day. I don't think she would have believed me. Can I believe it? after all these years. Or is this one of those things like Hook from Neverland, or Hook, the movie Hook, where Peter Pan comes back from Neverland and forgets that it even existed? Was it real? And he's just doubting himself after all these years, thinking it's just a story. Fred, thanks to you, I have found an even greater adventure. Thank so you. So I guess that's me and my daughter. Love, your nephew. I guess that's it. I don't really have much more to say. The game said it all itself. So, 
again, thank you guys so much for watching and being on this adventure with me. And I apologize, you know, this is the first series that I've ever put on my YouTube channel. So there were times that it was a bit rough. I know I had a lot of audio issues, but this was kind of a trial run just to see how things would go, get used to the process of recording, editing, uploading. So thanks so much for bearing with me if you're still here. And I appreciate you guys so much. And I do this because I love sharing with you guys. So that's all for a story about my uncle. And I guess I will see all you guys in the next video. Bye.